Alrighty, well, hi everybody, we are back to some Undertale long play. Now, I hope you guys have been patient, it's going to be a lot of fun, and, uh, well, I should say thank you for your patience anyway. It is so good doing this right now. I'm just going to take a quick moment to see if uh, my volume is working. Yep, it is, good. Okay, so with that being said, we're not going to, we're not going to, uh, strand you guys, we're just going to get going here. And, uh, hey! Good to see some, uh, people coming in the chat. It's awesome. Sup? Hey there, Pandora. Good to see ya. Alright! Well, without, uh, further ado, let's get going here and have some fun. Oh. How's everybody doing in the chat there? Warning, dog marriage. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, okay. Now. Ah, ice cap and snow drake confront you, sighing. Jerry. <laughs> okay, so I do. I know what to do with ice cap here. Uh, ignore. It looks like it, it looks annoyed. That's a lot of, lot of talking. <laughs> okay, gotta be very careful here. Oh! Alright. So Drake realized his own name is a pun is freaking out. <laughs> okay, ignore. Continue not looking at Icecap's hat. Seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh boy. Okay, awesome. Practicing his next pun. Uh, mercy. Good. <laughs> Guys, it's cold. Does anyone care? <laughs> It was like a wet pillow. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Jerry. Ditch Jerry. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. <laughs> Poor Jerry. <laughs> Alright. Uh, laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. You have good taste. And whatever. Please with a cool joke. There. Awesome. So, uh, there's a switch hitting the snow. Click. Excellent. So, I do have to say right off the bat, I want to apologize if there weren't any videos this weekend. Um, I was actually uh, out uh, celebrating a birthday party with, uh, with some friends of mine. And uh, we were basically, um, like, we went swimming, we did all sorts of stuff, which was awesome. And uh, I ended up coming home with a bad, bad sunburn, and uh, and not only that sunburn, but I had my hands, my hands were so freaking like sore, they were just aching to beat the band. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes you want to eliminate, eliminate you. <laughs> Doggy assaults you. Okay, so uh, let's make this quick. So we're going to pet. The dogs are too suspicious of your smell. Pause off, you smelly human. That's not your husband, okay? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there. Oh, oh. Okay. Dogs are saying sickly sweet things to each other. <laughs> All right. Let's, um, dog Amy. Uh, re-sniff. Dog sniff you again. But you smell just as weird as before. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta remember how to do this. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, uh, Dogressa. No. I want to... Mercy Spare. Number two, Nuzzle Champs 98. Of course, we were second. <laughs> okay. Careful. Okay. No, I was saying sickly sweet things to each other. Uh, we want to... Pet? The dogs are too suspicious of your smell. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, roll around. Thank you. Yeah. Roll on the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Let's kick human tail. 
Do humans have tails? Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Dogs may want to resmell you. Okay. Uh, dogamy, roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. The dogs may want to resmell you. Nope. Not yet. So let's go now. Uh, resniff. The dog sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What? It smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? <laughs> These two are too cute. Okay, the dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. And... Finally... Pet. You pet Dogamy. Wow, pet by another pup? Well, don't leave me out. <laughs> All right, the dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Okay, and pet dog Ressa. What about me? A pet that dogs, a dog that pets dogs. Amazing. <laughs> okay, the dogs' minds have been expanded. Spare. Yeah. <laughs> dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Oh god, I love the humor in this game. It's so awesome. Alright, now. <clears throat> Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Alright. That way. And, uh, there we go. Perfect. What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? What, do you, what did you what do you tell Papyrus about a spaghetti? Um, probably gonna be honest and say ate it. Really? Wowee! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chief Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you would ever you could ever want. <laughs> In case anyone's wondering, I'm doing a passive pacifist route, by the way. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Alright, now... Oh, okay. <laughs> Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to approve this puzzle. By arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. The solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose that I'm... I suppose that what I'm saying is... Worry not, human! I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum! When we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try to... to so, bleh, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. <laughs> Alright. Uh, if I remember correctly how to do this... You do... This... That one... And then do that, and then do the. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Then we do this. Down, 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 down. Bum. Boop. There. Wow, you solved it. And you did it with all, all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must take. You must get up puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll solve the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love Papyrus. Hey, Sans. Good job in solving so, so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, it's a human. You're going to love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. You will step If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but 
If you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Understand the explanation. Uh, of course. I don't want him to go through that again. Great. Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle. What that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Wait for it. And he's done. <laughs> he is absolutely done. <laughs> Actually, that spaghetti from earlier? It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll be he'll be making something edible. The machine isn't working. I wonder if anybody recognizes that machine. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you haven't seen the previous long play that I did, check it out on my YouTube channel and you'll wonder, and you'll know why there's all this happening in the snow. <laughs> oh, man. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination! Alright. On the roof, on the floor inside, is a box of, uh, palm raisins. Palmer, palm raisins! This cre this animal has seen some things. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more and more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. <laughs> oh, it's the broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. Seems like, yeah, so on and so forth, yeah. <laughs> Did I ever mention I love this level? I really do. I love Snowden. Okay, uh, I need... <laughs> I need to go, I think, this way. Boop. Then this way. This way. Up here. Over here. Here. There. That way, up, that way, and that way. Boom, done. Nice. My old memory skills. <laughs> All the way through the trees, I come out with <laughs> a snow hat, apparently. <laughs> hey, Sans, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Interesting. Oh. <laughs> Gift trot confronts you. Okay, I know how to I know how to uh, how to help this little this guy. Uh, undecorate. You move a childhood photograph of Snowdrake and his parent. That's a little better. Ah, I can do better than that. That's that's <clears throat> that's a little better. Gift trot is slightly less irritated. Uh, Gift trot undecorate. You remove the striped cane that says I use this tiny cane to walk on it. <laughs> That's a little better. Whoop. 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 Oh, that was close. Get Trop is slightly less irritated. We need to do one more. There we go. Remove the stocking filled with chicken nuggets. That actually sounds quite delicious. Oh, wait, it's been lifted. Okay, problems have been taken away. We'll give Gift Trot a gift. You give 35G because you can't think of an appropriate gift. Oh, you shouldn't have. And now, spare. Okay, yeah. Somehow, Sans knows. San knows how to uh, break space and time. <laughs> Are you lost? <laughs> I gotta admit, I honestly do not know what to do at this point. At this part, there's like, it's a door. Yeah, there's something. I think there was something. 
something around here. But... Woo! I know there was an enemy in this area, but I may not... Oh, jeez. But I may not be able to um, reach uh, the enemy of this guy until maybe after the after I'm done the game. I'm not really sure. So we're gonna put that one on hold. I think. Yeah, I have to get through the ending without getting hit. Oh yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Thank you, Pandora. Appreciate that. Yes, you're supposed to um, uh, beat the credits without getting hit once, and then come back. And there's supposed to be some sort of surprise inside. I don't know what it is. I've never been able to figure that out yet. So, that's a neat little thing for us to try out when the time comes. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. <laughs> this, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. <laughs> is it really a snow puff? Conspiracy. Behold! A snow puff. Eh? There's 30G inside this. What is this? <laughs> oh, Toby, I love your humor. Woof. What a tiny doghouse. It's cute. Oh, I remember when I saw this for the first time. Oh, it's a cute little puppy. Oh, what a cute little puppy. And oh my lord. <laughs> it's a greater dog. Okay. I love the music. Okay. Greater dog. Uh, I want to pet you. Greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Oh, oh, forgot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if anybody knows this, but... Anything that has to deal with either, I think, Greater Dog, Lesser Dog, and the Annoying Dog, I think it's all, like, bits and pieces of the creator, Toby Fox, with it. So, <laughs> either way, I love it. I love it. Uh, okay, uh, play. Greater Dog is not excited enough to play with. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need to... Whip. Whip. There we go. Okay, I need to beckon. You call the Greater Dog. It bounds towards you. Flicking slobber in your face. Aww. Tis a good puppy. Okay, Greater Dog is seeking affection. Pet. Greater Dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. Oh my goodness, what a heavy pup. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. <laughs> then it wakes up. It gets so, it's so excited. Oh. Greater Dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Okay, uh, play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up with all the snow with all in the area and picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now the dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. <laughs> Greater dog wants some TLC, tender loving care. Okay, pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks the its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Oh goodness oh my goodness okay pet capacity is 40 percent uh am i gonna have I'm, I'm gonna need to um eat something here uh monster candy ate the monster candy you recovered 10 hp okay uh okay all right uh pet you pet decisively pet capacity reaches 100 percent the dog flops over with his legs hanging in the air okay good Whew. greater dog is contented then in that case, then, you're free to go, puppy. Aww. <laughs> oh, my golly goodness gracious. This game warms my heart so much. Oh, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. Across the bridge. Oh. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlets of deadly terror. <laughs> I forgot. The annoying dog up there. Oh my goodness. When I say the word, it will fully activate. 
Cannons will fire. Spikes will swing. Blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's hold up? Hold up? What's hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. That uh, doesn't look very activated. <laughs> well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with sanders. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expert are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Anyway, away it goes. Phew. Huh? What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. I gotta remember to get the soundtrack for this game. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. <laughs> Is he gonna say something else or just that? No. Okay. Welcome to Snowden. Oh, love this place. The sight of the sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. See if there's anything in this treasure box here. Uh, yeah, I put those away. That's part of that. Okay, shop. Hey! Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Uh, let's see. We don't need any attack because we're not attacking anybody. Manly bandana would definitely work, so let's use that. Yeah. A bicycle? Yes. Definitely want that. And a cinnamon bun? Yes, please. That would be great. Okay... Uh, I only got 135 G, so probably maybe one more bicycle. That way I have fourth, four units of uh, health. Okay, exit. Take your time. Say hello. Hiya, welcome to Snowed Inn. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold instead of camping snowed in. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can borrow burrow under the door, forget about it. What to do here? You want to know what to do here in snowed in? Groby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. <laughs> My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Your life. Life is, uh, is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, isn't it? Bye now. Come again sometime. Alright. Let's save that. And uh, let's check our inventory here. Uh, manly bandana. Use. You equip manly bandana. Sweet. I think... Uh, what are my stats now? Uh, yes, I now have seven. That's good. Okay. How's my health? That's full, so I guess I don't need to worry about that. Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. What night is 80G? Um, not yet. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? <laughs> Alright, yeah, sure, why not? Stay. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Oh yeah, we can definitely sleep through that. Why not? <laughs> Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. And that includes... 30 over 20. Nice. Oh, I, I love this game too. Oh, man. I think... um. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. This is going to be very quick. Oh, it was too quick. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was supposed to be where the... <laughs> The, the, um, there we go. Uh, the, the, uh, innkeeper was supposed to say, no, you can't take another key. <laughs> but the, uh, the, the, um, what do you call it? The switch between the two scenes was too quick, so. But that's awesome. Excellent. Okay. And I know that's a teleporter. Let you go early over there. But let's talk to some folk here. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon but just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> bun 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 bun. bun. <laughs> I think I figured it out. No, never mind. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating his tree like horns. Met one! So we just started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Hey, that's our tradition too. Hey! Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> you know what's funny? I honestly thought that this that this monster here was a girl. But no, because of the, uh, the horns on its head. I thought it was a bow. No, it's actually a boy. Uh, it can be whatever it wants, I guess. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are dressed from Santa to, ver to various locals. I remember when I played this episode, I felt so, like, heartwarmed in this, you know? Because, like, I remember when I did this episode, it was during Christmas season. So seeing this here made everything so much better. <laughs> this town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> there's Grobies. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. At least I'm not making puns. <laughs> yeah, we don't want another Sans. <laughs> And, uh, this devil kid. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Smile, smile. <laughs> Did I ever mention how much I love this game? <laughs> Let's go to Groby, see what's in there. Hey, here we go. I will admit, I've used this song quite a bit in different videos. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys. Huh? <laughs> Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting! I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> hey! We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. <laughs> oh, oh. There we go. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. I don't think that's a problem at all for me. <laughs> hey, nin it's a uh, ninja pup. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> <laughs> As you fart. <laughs> it's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there was plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Those dogs are part of their wild god. 
the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. But it's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I guess, I guess I could ask out Undyne, but I think she likes someone already. I want to be just like Undyne when I grow up too. <laughs> okay, awesome. And this guy. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city suckers slip, slip into our, into their butts. The jukebox is broken. <laughs> and there's Groby. Groby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Let's see here, is there any more? Huh. Oh, yeah. I guess the bartender's kind of hot. <laughs> and one more here. I'm not hurt. I call things called bathrooms. Okay, moving on. Do I do D and D? Says chat. Uh, actually, you know what? I've never played D and D, but I know what's what it's about. And I would actually love to play some sometime if I can find, you know, people around me. But yeah, I wouldn't mind trying it out. I know, I know what D&D &D entails as well, too. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report, we just fill it out with comics and games. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> when I was younger, my teachers gave me the word searches so they, when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the whole entire underground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's that's a hard one to do. <laughs> that look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, don't aren't you? Me and my group do it. You could join us. Yeah, that would be awesome. Sure. Uh, hit me up on Discord, and uh, or I'll I'll hit you up on Discord, Pandora, and we'll uh, get something going. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. It's misspelled? I didn't even notice. Boo. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say as much as souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have uh, proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Interesting. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we uh, move to the city home. We braid harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reach what we call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> I'd read them all, but I don't want to make it too long, so. That's a lot of mail. It's a mailbox overflowing with run-red junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. Yeah, sure. It's empty. <laughs> and that's probably, yeah, locked. And that's a shed. Locked from the inside. Okay, so. I'm going to quickly uh, go over here, check up north, and then go from there. Ow, my eye. Little Pebbles. Let's play Monsters and Humans! You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock! Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again! Ah, my patience rewards me! <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, that area. Okay. And then we have this guy here. Yep. For some odd reason, chucking ice blocks down the river? Why not? <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Hello, papyrus. Human, allow me to tell you about some, some complex things. Feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pastel lover. The admiration for another puddle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be, what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. 
I don't ever wonder what having having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, no this, is, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are human, and I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Uh, flirt. <laughs> what? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Uh, I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! That's humility! That reminds me of myself! You're meeting all my standards! Let's see later after I capture you! <laughs> Honestly, I have not lost Papyrus, but there's always a first time. <laughs> uh, check. Likes to say, <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> what to cook for this date? Papyrus. Uh, flirt. Oh no! That's it later! After. Oh. Oh. Papyrus has some bone cologne behind his ear. <laughs> you flirt, but no avail. Seems acting won't, ha won't escalate this battle. Let's see it later. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Papyrus has marinara, marinara sauce behind his ear. <laughs> okay. You flirt, but no avail. Ugh. And ugh. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Oh, or as Sans calls it, our garage. <laughs> our garage? <laughs> You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> it, whoa, what? <laughs> I thought I heard Asgore there for a second. Burp. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this so much. This is so funny. It's a squeaky chew toy. <laughs> It's too small to sleep on. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. Oh, no little mouse. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in our guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nefily yours, Papyrus. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, you know what? That's not going to be the first time. <laughs> From what I hear, like, you could uh, lose to him quite a number of times, and it's hilarious. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait! It's right in front of me! Hello! I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second! You're not supposed to escape! Get back there! <laughs> <laughs> Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> this is too much. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I can't jump. I can't jump. I don't wish to jump. <laughs> Okay, I gotta... Ugh. <laughs> well, you may have cleverly escaped from jail before. By this time, I've upgraded the facilities. Not only will you be trapped, but you won't be even want to leave. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in here now. It's a squeaky chew toy. It's too small to sleep on. There's a hot dog cut up in the camp. <laughs> Wow, the great up, great upgraded services there, Papyrus. 
It's enough for papyrus. Please ask before you escape. When you went missing, I got worried sick. Slightly bone-trozzled papyrus. <laughs> and then you walk right out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Battle number three. <laughs> Back again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you would want to see me. And a dire hope that you would make you, that I would make you some. Well, I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice! <laughs> Papyrus blocks the way. <laughs> too busy fighting. Ugh. And ugh. And oh, okay. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> about to cook for his date. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Of course you're not. <laughs> you're just applying some bone cologne for no reason at all. You are. Persistent! But it just won't work on me. I am the persistentist. And if you think you are persistent inter persistent in test whoa. If and if you think you are persistent in nester, that is wrong! Grammatically wrong! Because I am correct form because because the correct form would be not as persistentist as papyrus, the persistent test. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a squeaky chew toy. It's too small to sleep on. There's a hot dog cut up into the kibble. It's a no for papyrus. If you're just looking for a place to stay, just ask! You don't need to fight me! Your host, papyrus! <laughs> oh, thank you for that recommendation, Pandora. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think uh, I think if you if you lose one more time, I'm pretty sure it's just the same thing now. So we'll lose one more time and then fight him, or you know, just spare him. Yo, back again! I finally realized the true lesson reason why you just miss seeing my face too much, so much. I'm not sure I can fight someone who feels this way, but mostly I'm getting really tired of capturing you. Fight papyrus. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, now, I'm probably going to be repeating it again, but you know what? Let's just do it. Okay. Uh, I guess if you want me to capture you, I'll try again! <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. I love this. <laughs> Sigma went to cook for his date. Okay. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. <laughs> you are persistent. But it just won't work on me. I am the persistent. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I think it's the same thing now. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, gotcha. Whew. All right, so where are we at now? 20 out of 20. I'm gonna go back quickly to the uh, go back to the inn. I'll get some uh, get some rest, get ten uh, health more, and then uh, let's see here. What I wonder if I say no to finding papyrus that we just go straight to the date or something like that. I've never done it before, but it doesn't hurt to try it out. All right, here we go. Yes. Okay, time to get up. 
<laughs> All right, now that should be... Yep, good. Okay, so let's... You know what I just realized? I went through that whole entire way and I didn't use this. Jeez. I could have saved so much time. How much do you want to bet I did this exact same thing last time? I think I did. I really think I did that. Uh, I didn't do that last time. Jeez Louise. Okay, anyways, moving on. <laughs> Hi, Papyrus. You're back again! <laughs> okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da fight Papyrus. No. Okay. I guess I'll accept my failure. <laughs> no! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! And I'm so going to be so disappointed in me! I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant! What should you say? <laughs> what a loser! No! <laughs> Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you! Wowee! I haven't even, we haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! <laughs> Who knew that all I needed was to make pals? Was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them! You taught me a lot, human! I hereby grant you permission to pass through! And I'll give you directions to the surface! Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern! Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier! That's the magical seal trapping us all underground! Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit! Except someone with a powerful soul! Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well... He's a big old... He's a big fuzzy pushover. <laughs> Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> now you know why Undertale is number one with uh, Limbo and Inside for me. I love it. So you came back to have a date with me? You must have really serious... <laughs> you must be really serious about this. I'll have to make you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> My house! <laughs> <laughs> welcome to scenic welcome to scenic my house enjoy and take your time it's a joke book take a look inside inside the joke book has a quantum physics book you look inside inside the quantum physics book was another joke book you look inside there's another quantum physics notebook you decide to stop <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's a little hard to explain what happens in, uh, what, what it's all that about you touch the couch. It makes a jingling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 G. Hey. It's a saggy old couch. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program. MDT. MDT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Science, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? I get it. Probably gonna go for now. Have people waiting on me. Have a good one. All right, Pandora. Have a great night. Take care. Yeah, definitely hit me up soon. We'll uh, have some fun with some D&D &D and, uh, and whatnot. So, have a good night. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. Oh yeah, and thanks for coming, by the way. Really do appreciate it. It's awesome. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> Here you go. Boop. Boop.
Oh, there we go. Bing, bing. Oh, come on. There. Oh, okay, come on. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, hold on. Ah! Gotta, I gotta know how to do this right. Ah! Okay, come on. Boop, 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 boop. Ah! There be monsters, yes. Hello, chat. Good to see you. Hello, Tiber Canucks. How you doing? Ah! Gotta remember how to do this. Okay. Ah! Come on, come on. Ha! Hoo! Ha! Hoo! Ha! Okay. Yep. 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 I gotta, ah! I gotta remember to do this right. Here. There, 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 there. I don't know why I can't do this. Ah! I remember I gotta do this ten times, so. Oh my goodness, why can't I do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah! Come on! Oh, come on, I already had it. Come on. Almost had it. Come on. There, I got it. Holy cow, that's tough. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. <laughs> that's supposed to mean I'm being a great host. <laughs> my brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! A cake. That's a trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. <laughs> Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Hello, annoying dog. What? Cut that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <laughs> Alright, so. I get it. <laughs> oh, so, if you are just che checking out the stream now, we're playing, uh, we've been playing for about, uh, almost an hour now, so. It's, uh, been, <laughs> we've been having lots of fun, uh, uh, goofing around with Papyrus and losing to him for quite a few times. <laughs> That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Uh, not yet. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Alright, and... That's my room. And we go inside. So, um, you've been seeing everything. Do you want to start the date? Not yet. Take your time. I'll wait for you. Hey, those are all the attacks I use on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it was basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have... How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> Isn't that flag neato? And I'm founded at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. 
Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> yes, of course, Papyrus. <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That's next book's uh, another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has to besiege my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> the computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Interesting. It's a box of bones. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Why are you so interested in my bed? Are you tired? <laughs> One more time. Oh, action figures of many sexy robots. <laughs> it's a beat-up pirate flag. Complex manuals and children books. Okay, so, um, we have seen everything. Let's begin. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged official dating rule book from the library. We already did, we're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. <laughs> dating HUD. Wow, we! I feel so informed. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. <gasps> really? Wow, we! I guess that means it's time for a part three. Well, step three. Put on nice clothes to know to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No! Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning! Yes. <laughs> no! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! Nyeh! <laughs> Don't think you're best as me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at, beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? I love it! No! I did him a compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! The state won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret! That, but that won't happen! Move and inspect with Z. This shot didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all, article, all clothing articles can be improved this way. There is no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. I see, I see. You like care you like caressing my biceps with a f uh, with a floating heart. But who doesn't? My hat? My hat? My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. I thought that was his brain at first. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking. Isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't my plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in oak in cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. Therefore, there's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ah! 
No! You win. It's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. You win. I want to be happy. I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I am. Um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I. I'm sorry. I don't like you that way. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I, I mean. I mean, I, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion with uh, for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison with passion, with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I, can, I can't fail at anything. Human, I will love you through these trying times. I'll, I'll keep your being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. <laughs> After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. <laughs> and hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But else can't lose settle for, for second best. <laughs> Oh, and if you never need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Jeez. Well, let's continue on, shall we? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Moving on forward. I think we can keep going for another half hour. And now we're reaching a new point in the game. Ah, excuse me. Oh, hello. Hey. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready when you are. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard, and over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard, over and over. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go see Sans for a second. What? Have you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Groby's. Wanna come? Uh, not yet. Okay, have fun. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Oh, yeah. No, I did that wrong. Hold on. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination! Okay. Yeah. Well, if you this, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Best shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greeting, Sans. Hiya, Sanji. Hey, Sans. Uh, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops, why try you sit down? Sometimes we just put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, I want a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Ruby, we'll have a double order of burg. <laughs> oh, he's using a comb. <laughs> so, what do you think of my brother? Cool, of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he was absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Good, here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Uh, yeah, sure. 
Bo de petit. You tip the ketchup, the cap falls off, and fall all the ketchup on the bottle pours onto your food. <laughs> Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. <laughs> Scratches his butt. Anyway, cool and odd. You have to agree. Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he try like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the dead of the Royal one bleh, house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him in, be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior training. It's uh still a work in progress. Oh. Oh yeah. I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> Spotlight. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Uh yeah. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, a pirate told me something interesting about the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Battery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I think Papyrus is talking about uh, Flowey. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but uh, I forgot. <laughs> Groby's said that your food is probably coal by now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I like sand. Sometimes he brings the scraps of food onto the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can handle it. I was hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Interloper! <laughs> huh? Since so when did you and Sans become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. That's because Sans is a being that's a little more than what we thought. He's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. San Sans is the most popular, reg the most regular, regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently, though. Sans is a sentry, but don't let his title make you think that he does anything. Everyone knows he sits around in the forest reading car magazines. Well, capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I already, I already talked to that guy. Sans is interesting. He told us, he told me about all kinds of incredible foods. But despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. Chauncey, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. <laughs> All right. Well, it has been an hour and eight minutes. I think we're going to do probably... Let's see. Is he still in here? No. Okay. So I'm probably going to save it and probably end it there. Uh, there's a lot, quite a bit of progress there. So maybe. Now nah, I think we'll go like a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll go a little bit longer. All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. <laughs> Let's sing it again sometime. All right. This is a box. You can put an item in, uh, in or take an item out. Why would you, though? Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. <laughs> use a box? Sure. Uh, let's see. We don't need... There's a bandage there? Huh. I never noticed that there before. Uh, I guess I don't really need to worry about that right now. I know that there's something over here. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. I swore I saw something. Behind that rushing water. 
Yeah, it's a camera. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, keep moving here. And there. Whoa! I didn't even know you can go back there. That's cool. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? You're carrying too much. Oh, right. Okay. Item. Um, let's... Okay. I didn't even know that was there. That's interesting. But that's interesting that there's a tutu there. Hmm. Use the box. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's put in the snowman piece. And that should be enough room. Yep, we take it. Yes, you got the old tutu. <laughs> beep, beep. Okay, uh, item. Uh, old tutu. Oh, armor, defense, 10. Finally, a, pr a protective piece of armor. <laughs> okay, item. Uh, I want to use the old tutu. You equip the old tutu. Okay. Now we want to put away the manly bandana. There we go. And that should be good enough right now. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Uh, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Um, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? I yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see. <laughs> I understand. I'll help you any way I can. And then I make a little rustle. Oh. Preparing a spear. Wait, wait for it, and... We're good. <laughs> Undyne can be pretty creepy. Oh, hello there, Stad. Good to see you. Yo, did you see the way he was, he was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her b beat up some bad guys. Oh, and fall over on your face. That really does help. <laughs> oh. I love this music. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. What do I like about Undertale? I love the music. I love the gameplay. I love the morals. And what else do I love about it? What else do I love about it? I, I love Undertale because of just the cool... There's so much about it to in order to explain what it is I like about it. I, I can't really... Man. I'll tell you more in just a second. Aaron flexes in. Okay, uh... Shoo. You tell Aaron to go away. Wow, spunky. Love it. <laughs> oh, he's just sweat drops, I bet. Ow! Smells like a muscle farm. Shoo. 
You'll change your mind. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Aaron is sweating bullets. Shoot. Feisty, huh? Oh, yeah, oh. Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Flexing cunt is okay. Flex more. Okay, so what do I like uh, about Undertale? Um, I love everything about, like, the whole concept of, of like, making Frisk, um, you know, you don't know whether he's a, he's a boy or a girl. So it's sort of like, the, the character is you. Basically you. So that's what's really cool. And he flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> so... But also, too, like, I don't, um, I guess I'd really, it really doesn't matter if I do spoil it, because, like, I've already played this before. But I can honestly say, I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit. There we go. So. I think just everything about it, you know, I love the humor, I, I really like, um, the touching moments that it has. And there's just so much involved in this game that it's hard not to notice how how hard Toby worked on this game. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Take it. You got the abandoned quiche. It's just a bench. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Okay, so... We need to do, um, here, right here. What else do I like about Undertale? Um, I love how everything is unique in its own way. All the characters, I'll, I'll answer in a second. All the characters are unique in their own way. Each one of them has a specific quality of them that makes them endearing and lovable. Like Sans, he may be just like a lazy uh, skeleton, but there's something more about him that that than than none of us knew when we first tried this game. And and it was funny because like yeah, he just seems like a guy who would just basically just like yeah, I don't really want to do anything, but. He's one of the biggest protectors out of everybody. So, and then there's Papyrus, who is kind of bumbling and and silly, but he's heartwarming and kind in his own right. So that's a couple of examples there. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Yes or no? Uh... Well, I can't lie, so yes. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Click. Hmm. A long time ago, monsters would, appear, would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are those sparkling stones in the ceiling. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Oh, what we got? Oh, Washua! Um, clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Tweet! Green means clean. Oh, oh. There we go. Smells like detergent. <laughs> and spare. There. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Look through the telescope? Yes. Check wall. Wall. 
Yeah, we'll go there in a second. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Two mold smalls. Done. <laughs> All right. Ancient writing covers walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of every, nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it's the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. Mm. I wonder who they're talking about. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Do, do, do. Oof. Okay. We'll go, we'll go through this and probably call it a night after. Which is probably... Yep. This part. Hello, Undyne. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, boy. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. kid. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <sighs> Off we go. <laughs> oh, yo, did you see that? And I just touched me. I never washing my face ever again. Man, are you are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. <laughs> Not that I really want to, to be honest. This cheese has been here for so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. <laughs> Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Well, everybody, I think that's good for now. So this was part two of the Undertale long play. I want to say thank you all very much for watching. This has been an awesome playthrough for tonight. And uh, I'll be playing some more tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, if I have the time. But for the time being, guys, thank you so much. And uh, if you haven't followed me yet, follow me here on Twitch. Uh, help me become a Twitch affiliate. And um, not only that, uh, this will also be uploaded onto my YouTube channel. And uh, if you guys can, please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. It helps me out, helps you all out, helps out this channel, gets me to make more awesome content. And also click that bell icon in order to see my uh, uploads on your feed as soon as they're uploaded. And make sure to click, when you after you click that bell, you say... All of it, not just occasionally. So, thank you all very much for watching. Once again, you all take care of yourselves. We'll see you in the next stream. High five. Wow. <laughs>